That is not cool. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. First off, I just want to thank you all for being here to check out my Goodwill Bins Dig With Me video. Um, I appreciate all of you. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of Bins videos, but I also talk about items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. Right here is an incomplete Paw Patrol vehicle. This one's a harder to find one with the green front. There is also one with the red front. So I went ahead and pulled off this piece and I'm gonna list it as a replacement part. If you watch my YouTube channel and you watch my What Solds, I sell a lot of replacement parts. Another thing I would like to ask you guys to do is as you're watching, if you see something that I missed that you would have picked up, please timestamp it down in the comments so that we can all learn from each other on things to look for when we are outsourcing. So I look forward to seeing what you guys would have picked up that I missed. Now, you will see items in my cart that I end up looking up and putting back. So not everything that I pick up and put in the cart actually stays in the cart. So I do pop up screen shares of everything that I listed. That helps keep this educational for you guys and you guys can see what's available in my eBay store. If something interests you, feel free to go down to the description of the video and make me an offer. My eBay store is linked down below. Never any pressure to buy, just if you happen to see something. We're gonna talk about a bunch of items that I picked up today, and I also ran into someone on purpose, but he did not do what he said he was going to do. So we're gonna talk about that. All right, so I met Dad Planet up here for a planned collaboration video, and I said, what kind of collab do you wanna do? I left it in his hands to come up with a plan. And we get there, and I'm like, what's the plan? He's like, I don't know. So there really is no plan, but I want you guys to go over and see what Dad Planet found. Um, and we'll talk about that more also. So again, we're just going to have fun digging here. I love going to the bins and digging. It is super fun. If you guys are not subscribed to Dad Planet, he sources different than me. He does a lot of clothing and shoes and accessories and stuff like that. I'm more of a hard good hard goods girl. I did pick this up. I put it in my cart. I comped it out, decided to put it back. Would you guys have kept that and bought it? and resold it or would you have put it back also? Let me know down in the comments. I found some really good stuff today. Nothing super big money bolo or anything like that. If you wanna see some big money bolos that I found at the bins, go check out these videos. I will pop them up here in a second. But I did grab this little um, dinosaur thing here. It's a taco holder. How fun is that? That's listed in my eBay store. And I also grabbed the doll that I just threw to the side. Oh my goodness, so cute. But I wasn't gonna grab it until I found this one. They are twins, a boy and a girl twins. They have their pacifiers. They are absolutely adorable. So um, do I pick up baby dolls all the time? No, but these I just could not pass up. Such cuteness. So do you guys pick up baby dolls? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so let's take a peek at a few of my Goodwill Bins videos that show you some big money bolos. Sometimes you strike gold at the Goodwill Bins, and sometimes you just find a lot of bread and butter. Those three little dolls, I'm planning on doing a whatnot show here in the near future, um, and I'm going to be doing an all toys whatnot show. So if you're not following me on whatnot, there is a link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you join with that link. So definitely go down and join with my referral link. Always pick up the little rattle loveys. Uh, those are things that kids lose and their parents search on eBay for those items. Lovey blankets, lovey rattles. Sometimes they are long tail and sometimes they fly out of your store. So you just never know with them, but plan on 
that they could be long tail. Some of them are bread and butter and some of them go for bigger money. All right, here's the man that was supposed to have the plan. Um, this is his cart full of clothes. He is working on giveaway boxes. So each video he does, he adds items to the giveaway boxes. So make sure you're subscribed to him because he's got some big things coming to his channel and he is a bolo finder. So go follow Dad Planet. I will link him down below in the description. There's also going to be something that I'm going to show you here soon that I put back and he picked up. So we'll talk about that. All right, let's keep digging here. And right here it is. I pull this up. I look inside. The tag is cut off. Well, it turns out that it is a Dawn Post Studios mask. Some of those can go for big money. Um, Dad Planet did pick it up. That is available in his eBay store. And um, I left it behind. I did pick up that stamp thing that I just showed you guys. I can't find any comps on it. If anybody knows anything about it, let me know. I did start that on an eBay auction just to kind of feel out the market. If it does not sell, I will relist it at a buy it now or best offer. That is typically what I do with items that I cannot find comps for or harder to find items. List them high on an auction, and if they don't sell on auction, put them at a buy it now, even higher, run a sale, and add best offer. That's how I do it. Is that right for everyone? Not necessarily. I put this massager in my cart. A lot of these can do really well. Comps really weren't bad. I mean, 20 bucks I probably could have got for it, but it was kind of heavy, and I just decided that I wasn't going to get it, so I threw it back. This is a Goodnight Moon soft book, a really really popular uh, children's book. I've never seen it in cloth. So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't know if that'll be a long tail item or a item that sells very quickly, but I listed it and it was very lightweight. So we are going to keep digging here. Um, I always look inside things because a lot of times things get stuck in other things. Bags. If I see a bag, I am opening that bag. If I see a box, I'm going to open it. Um, if I see an envelope, I am going to open it. Opening an envelope led me to an item that I will make thousands of dollars on. And that is in this video right here. You can see in the thumbnail, that is an envelope. And I am so thankful that I opened that envelope. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. This is part of an Octonauts um, figure, uh, like a vehicle. And I put it in my cart and I decided to put it back because as a parts replacement part, you could see there the solds weren't very high. As you saw in the other screenshots, if you can find it with the figures, it's a bolo. So Octonauts, definitely be on the lookout for. If you see the figures, definitely pick them up. Um, but I decided to put back the vehicle because it was incomplete and I just left it behind. But wanted to give you guys some education on that because definitely Octonauts can be a big money bolo. Here's the other part of it. Um, again, I just decided to leave it behind because I looked at those comps. Typically, I don't give you guys comps on things I throw back. If you guys like that, let me know in the comments. It kind of tells you why I threw it back. I always pick up these balls. Um, a lot of times their balls are in, their, they're in the shape of a square. Uh, but that one was a little bit um, too uh, scruffy, uh, scratched up, so I left it behind. The Peppa the Pig item I did pick up. Right now, I am collecting toys to make small toy lots, again, to bring to Whatnot. So um, if you like toys, follow me on Whatnot. But I've been doing a lot of vintage jewelry and vintage items, which right now I'm going to show you a little preview of what I have coming on Sunday night to my whatnot show at 9 15 p.m eastern standard time so i'm gonna clip that in right here right now i'm gonna show you what i'm bringing it's time for another this and that vintage to now jewelry and more whatnot show sunday the 30th at 9 15 p.m eastern standard time all right so we never got to this tote but i stuffed it full of new stuff so we got that got all this jewelry we never got to got more vintage stuff in this tote vintage hair things the rest of these items we never got to more crafters items and everything in this tote and i've even got dollhouse items 
All right, you guys. So I know a lot of you guys have been coming over to my whatnot shows. Thank you so much. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys. And I always say no pressure to buy. Just come hang out and it, talk in the chat, you know, talk to everyone and just watch. If you want to buy something, awesome. If you don't, no worries. No pressure to buy ever from me. Um, this baby bottle, I always pick these up, but that one was dried out. Um, they're a great replacement piece. Uh, parts and pieces, replacements, a lot of times they're long tail, but people need them and I love saving them from the Goodwill bins. Now, tell me in the comments, do you sell replacements? Do you sell items that are $10 or less or do you think it's a waste of time? Are you looking for those high dollar items? What I will tell you about bread and butter items, that's what I call items I sell for $35 or less, is that they keep your store running. So on days that you don't sell anything, if you only have high dollar items, you may miss out on 10 sales or five sales because you didn't have any bread and butter in your store. All right, I picked up this beauty right here. She's handcrafted. She had this little tag on her. Actually on the back of her neck, she is signed and she is vintage. I don't know because I could not find anything about her. So this is one of those items that I'm gonna start on an eBay auction starting it at $99.99 plus shipping. If it sells, great. If it doesn't, I will relist it at a buy it now, but I don't know the market on that item. I can't find anything like it. So what do I do? I start it at an auction. That's what I recommend. That is not for everyone. You do what works best for you, but that's just a little Bolo Buddies tip of maybe a way to not sell your item, undersell it, you know? A lot of times people are like, oh, I can't find comps, and they just price the item low. You could be missing out on a lot of money, or I could have that item completely overpriced. It's not gonna sell, and then I try to buy it now. So um, you just never know. Recipe boxes, old recipe boxes can do really well. I probably should have grabbed that recipe box if I'm being completely honest. I do find another one in this video that I did grab, but that one, for some reason, I didn't put in my cart. Uh, if you sell recipe boxes, if they have the recipe box uh, recipe cards in them and they are vintage, leave them in there. They will that will increase the value of your item. People look for old recipes that are um, you know original to the person that had them. A lot of times those are recipes that people have come up with on their own, and you can't find those in a recipe book. So people will pay up for those. Again, look in the boxes. Make sure that what the box says is what is in the box. I have found things in boxes that don't belong in the boxes. I remember I found some Jim Shore in a, a nativity box. They didn't even go in the box. So um, that was a super awesome find. And I do have that in, I think that was in my hashtag bins bingo video. If you guys want to go check that out. And you just put hashtag Ben's Bingo up into the YouTube search bar and it will pull up everybody that participated in that collaboration video. Basically, I made a bingo card and a bunch of YouTubers went and tried to find the items on the card. Super fun, super educational, and you get to see lots of different people digging um, and their different perspectives on what to look for and how they do their videos. This is a jelly cat. Always pick up Jelly Cat. If you have not seen my Jelly Cat video, go into YouTube, type in the search Bolo Buddies Jelly Cat. Some of those things sell for over $900. And I tell you which ones to look for, which Jelly Cat are big money. A lot of them are bread and butter, but some of them go for hundreds of dollars. So it is definitely worth checking out because otherwise you may pass it by. Just picked up a Paw Patrol. I have like two totes full of Paw Patrol items. I always pick them up. I'm really bad at getting them listed. I may have a whatnot show of all Paw Patrol items. I don't know. Or I may mix them into my toy show that I'm going to be having in the near future. So if you're not on whatnot and you want to sell on whatnot, I also have a seller's referral link down below. If you use my seller's referral link, it's going to tell them whatnot that Bolo Buddies referred you. And from what I hear, if you have somebody that refers you, you are more likely to get accepted. So definitely use that referral link down below. 
This right here is a Connex motor. If you see them, pick them up. They are a bread and butter item, but they always sell. They come in green, they come in black. Um, that one I have listed, I think I already popped up the screen share. Definitely pick them up. It's basically a motor that makes the items move forwards and backwards, so reverse and forward. So uh, yeah, it's just an easy pickup and I see them all the time at the bins. I left the connects behind. I wasn't gonna dig through and like collect all those. Sometimes I'm in the mood to do that. Other times I'm not. This day I was not in the mood, like just give me the motor. <laughs> so, all right, let's keep digging here. How many items have you screamed at the screen at and are like, Bolo buddies, you should have picked that up. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys timestamp down in the comments. All right, this I believe I'm gonna bring to Whatnot. I think he is super cool. He's a Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I'm gonna bring him to my toy show um, just as a fun item because I know a lot of people like that brand. And I've never seen a pink one. Um, he's pretty cool. I did pick this up. It's listed in my eBay store. It's Waterford. It's still in the original box. Super happy to find that. Not a big money bolo, but I definitely think it will sell. Do I list Christmas all year long? Yes. Does Christmas sell all year long? Yes. People will buy Christmas items in the middle of the year. Um, sometimes it just pops in their mind. Hey, I need to get something um, for my tree or I want to get an ornament right now as a gift. Maybe I can get it cheaper right now because before Christmas, everybody's listing their Christmas items and they're typically increasing the prices because it's right before Christmas and you know right before Christmas you can get more for your items. I just keep my items priced the same, but definitely something to consider. Duplo Legos, yes, I pick them up. And here is how I listed this item. I did find the little Toy Story guy, so this is how I have it listed. Duplo Legos. It's kind of something new that I started doing. I see them all the time at the bins. If you can find the big board that's flat, it's like 12 by 12 or something like that, always pick that up and then I make lots. A lot of those items I put only on Poshmark because the shipping is cheaper. So my Poshmark link is down below. If you're looking for Duplo Legos, you guys, if you are a viewer of my channel and you are looking at something from my store, feel free to make me an offer. Don't feel like you have to pay full price. I appreciate you guys coming over and supporting the channel. Again, never expect it, but if I have something you want, feel free to make me an offer. There is a coupon for um, eBay. It's Bolo Buddies. If you put that in when you check out, um, you will get that discount. You can't use that discount with if you use a best offer, okay? That's just for buy it now when you add to your cart. That little um, thing, they were like, they go around wine glasses. I sold those on my Whatnot show. So when I'm sourcing at the bins, if I find new old stock things that are just um, cute that I think somebody could use around their household, a lot of times I'll pick those up and I will start those for a dollar at my Whatnot auction and probably not making a lot of money on it, but it's just a cool little item that somebody can use. And it's another just different type of thing to bring to my whatnot. Um, not everybody is looking for vintage items. They just want useful items for their home. And I did sell that. I can't remember what it sold for. Um, I don't know if it was a buck or two bucks or three bucks. I feel like I got a couple bids on it. It was pretty cool. You put them, they have little sayings on them and you put them around your wine glass. All right, let's keep digging here. There is a vintage item that I find towards the end of the video that is super, super cool. Um, I was so excited to find them and I know that I could have listed them on eBay, but they had such a cool look to them that I wanted to um, bring them to whatnot. I did a whole video on them and talked about different items in that category that sell for uh, good money. and. Also, how you can repurpose the items. So I will show you more and talk about that more at the end of the show. That was a Boy Scout hat. It was vintage. I also sold that on Whatnot at a recent Whatnot show. I think it went for around $3. So did I make a lot of money on it? No, but it, did, it does not weigh very much. And again, I'm trying to bring fun, cool, vintage items to Whatnot and to grow my Whatnot. So 
Come hang out. Use that referral link down below. Get your $15 of free money to shop. And I know I'm talking about whatnot a lot, but I absolutely love it. And so many people don't know about it. It is a fantastic, fun, live platform. So you are live. You will see me live. So come hang out. Come hang out. All right, let's keep digging here. I did pick up this baby rattle. This is another thing that I pick up all the time because, again, they get lost and parents look for them. Most of my items I list on eBay first, and then I cross-post them with List Perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark. So uh, List Perfectly is a cross-posting um, service. I do have a link down below that shows you how it works. I highly recommend it because getting more eyes on your items, you're going to sell more stuff. Different people shop on different platforms. If you use my coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, when you check out or um, join List Perfectly, it's a subscription, you pay monthly, you will get 30% off your first month, which is a great deal. So definitely use Bolo Buddies when you join List Perfectly. But first, before you check it out, go check out my video down below in the description because it's gonna show you exactly how List Perfectly works. And really, you wanna be knowledgeable and see if it's something that is a good fit for you. Um, it's not a good fit for everybody. Not everybody wants to cross post, so you have to decide. But I will tell you, the more platforms you're on, the more sales you're gonna have. There's days when eBay is slow, and I'll have three or four sales on Poshmark or on Mercari, you know, and other days, I don't sell anything on the other platforms. But it is just nice having your items in multiple places. So something to consider if you're only selling on one platform. And that's the same for people that are just selling on Poshmark or people that are just selling on Mercari. Um, if you're just selling on Poshmark and Mercari, oh my goodness, you have got to get on eBay because wow, I sell so much more on eBay. It's just a bigger platform. So, um, but yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's what I like to say. I haven't listed this yet. I don't know if um, it's one of those itty bitties Hallmark items. I don't know if I'm going to take that to whatnot or if I am going to put that on um, Mercari. Uh, I'm sorry, whatnot or eBay, Mercari and Poshmark. I don't know where I'm going to do with that yet. So a uh, little plush like that. I love them. I love the Hallmark itty bitties. Always pick them up. They're lightweight. They don't cost me much. I've never seen the little Scooby-Doo. He was so cute. I've also loaded my what not buy it now section with cheap, lightweight items. So uh, you can check that out as well. I did a video on that. If you guys are selling on what not already and you want to make extra money or draw people to your store, use the marketplace. I'm going to pop up a screenshot right now that shows you what that video looks like. So basically, it's just like any other platform. You can use it as a marketplace with buy it now items. But the live auction element is the best. It is so fun. And you can snag some deals. Uh, definitely can snag some deals over there. And it's fun to shop. I did pick up this. It is a vintage dress. One of those beaded embellished dresses. Oh my goodness. Um, is it flawless and perfect? No, but it's it's really, really good considering I dug it out of the bins. I'm probably going to bring that to whatnot also um, just because it's incredible. It's just incredible. And I know I have so many vintage clothing buyers um, over on my whatnot. So stay tuned for that. All right. So this is a brand new um, bin. So I grabbed my cart and I'm putting it a little closer. You guys, if you go to the bins, keep an eye on your cart because people will take things out of it. Um, so just be careful. Oh my goodness. I love this. It's a swaddle baby's turtle with like a little backpack. It is so stinking cute. Um, I'm guessing somebody is going to scoop that out of my store, my eBay store super fast. Um, just loved it. And these ornaments, I bought four ornaments, uh, two of, I think they said mom and dad, and they were snowmen and two were stockings that said mom and dad. And I sold those over on whatnot as well. Um, I am picking up some kids clothes here and throwing them in the cart. I ended up putting those back. 
Uh, sometimes kids' clothes can do pretty good on Poshmark. There's another ornament. So those are already sold. The ornaments sold on whatnot. Um, now, could I have made more on the ornaments on eBay? Absolutely, I could have. But I may have been waiting till Christmas. So um, I went ahead and just moved them quick and for less money. And that's okay with me. That's one thing about whatnot is you're moving items fast. It's volume based. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about selling on whatnot. These little pillows, I picked up a whole bunch of these. I have not been able to identify them. So if anybody knows what these go to, I don't know if they go to a game or what they go to, but let me know down in the comments because I need to get these listed. Right there, there it is. I'm gonna hopefully pick it up, but right now I'm looking at other stuff and I'm looking past that recipe box. I did pick it up. I think I show it um, here in the future, but if not, let me go back and put a screenshot up for you guys. Okay, I went and added the screenshot for you guys, so I am back. Um, I'll tell you what, editing videos, oh my goodness, trying to like get everything in the video that you want to say and you know just show everything, it's tricky. There's a lot of going back and forth. So uh, you may see that box again. I can't remember if I popped the screenshot in or not. So let me know um, if you do Goodwill Ben's videos, let me know down in the comments. So um, everybody's source is different and it's fun to watch other people. And I love it absolutely love it. So let's keep digging. And let's see what else we find here. I think this is where I'm coming upon that vintage item. I think I could be wrong. We'll keep digging here. Okay, that maybe I should have got that, but I wasn't sure what it was. I think I should have probably Google Lens this. Um, if you don't know what Google Lens is, it is a tool, a free tool that you can use to identify items. I have a video on it. Type in Google Lens Bolo Buddies in the YouTube search and you will see how that works. If you are a reseller and not using Google Lens, oh my goodness, it is gonna save you so much time. Madwell Jeans. So I know I watched a YouTuber who sells clothes who talked about this brand and I don't know if it's still trending or not, but these are kind of stonewashed. So I went ahead and picked them up. Um, I also picked up some other clothing. I actually found a few items for myself, so that's fun. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna list those on eBay or if I'm gonna bring those to whatnot. If anybody has any interest in those, let me know um, if you want me to bring them to whatnot and auction them off. Uh, I also grabbed this uh, Yeti. Is it a Yeti? No, not a Yeti. What's that thing? Oh my goodness. What's the snowman's name? Is it Yeti? I don't know. The snowman, the abominable snowman. Ab That's another word I can't say. If you're new to my channel, I have a really hard time with pronunciation. So you'll get to see that in other videos. Most of my videos are what sold videos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Definitely check those out. Um... I feature my bolos and I feature bolos from other people, other members of my Facebook group and stuff like that. If you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, definitely go join over 85,000 people in that group. So it is craziness and you will learn so much. All right, let's dig. This, this bin was fun. This bin was fun. I actually find some Lego dinosaurs. Unfortunately, they were just parts and pieces. I'm gonna pop up a screenshot here soon of what exactly I ended up digging out of this bin and how I listed it. Will I sell parts and pieces? Absolutely. Uh, the dinosaur, Lego dinosaurs, a lot of those are retired and people are looking for replacement parts because why? Their kids lose them and they're like, oh, it's missing its head, where's the head? And then they go to eBay to look for the head or the legs or the tail or whatever. This one, there's two of them that were almost complete. So I felt like that was a really great find. There was a lady beside me that was digging for the Legos also. So I'm guessing her eBay st store has the other body parts. <laughs> so look around, you guys. You may find the incomplete other pieces in another eBay store because I'm guessing she's going to do the same thing as me. I lotted mine all up. I could have sold them like the legs individually 
or the tail or the head, but I decided to sell mine as a lot. So you have lots of options. I found a ton of LOL dolls today at this, not today, but the day I was digging in this video. And I have a whole bag full of LOL dolls. Those are coming to my toy show on whatnot. So that's just one of the things. Uh, I will do a preview video on this channel of the toys I'm gonna be bringing before I do that show. I'm still gathering items and making small lots of like items um, for that show. So it'll be probably next month for sure. It won't be this month. Sometimes when there's a bunch of people and I can't get my cart between the aisles, I grab a tote and that's what you just saw. That's me putting things into the tote. Sunglasses cases, sometimes I grab those. My husband will pick up vintage sunglasses and um, we list those in the eBay store. I don't do a lot of vintage sunglasses, but he knows what to look for. And it's nice to have those sunglass cases to pack them in and ship them in to protect the item. Um, I did pick up those, uh, is it Stort Little? I don't know. Uh, I think they're Wendy's toys, but they are vintage. So I'm going to probably bring those to my toy show. They're pretty cool. Uh, an older item. Uh, retired, I guess I should say. I don't know if it's necessarily vintage. I can't remember if it was dated or not. So going to keep digging here. I did find one really cool item that sold super fast to a viewer. Um, it was probably somebody that has me bookmarked and they saw my newly listed items and they came in and they made me an offer and I accepted it. So I know it's a Bolo item. I have sold it before and I'm going to show you that soon. Check these vintage eggs out. These are the items that I was talking about that I was going to put on eBay and decided to bring to whatnot because they are just super fantastic and I knew somebody would want them. Um, a viewer of the channel actually bought them from me on Whatnot, and she is buy now and enjoy over on Whatnot, so go follow her. She sells on Whatnot also, and I appreciate her purchase so much. Um, it means a lot to me when you guys come over to Whatnot and support, support me there, uh, but again, never feel like you have to buy anything, but if it's something you want and you will use, I absolutely 100% appreciate the support. All right, so you saw the bunny egg. I keep digging because I'm like, if there's one, there may be more. And I did find more. Um, I found some really, really cool stuff. Um, these vintage eggs can be repurposed. Uh, these were TLC. Some of them were ready to go. Like these two were in pretty good condition. I sold those two together. I also sold another one that you're gonna see here shortly. But then I found a whole bunch of eggs and they had like brooches and different things on them. They're definitely TLC, but somebody can fix them up. But I thought attaching like the old jewelry to them was an incredible item. It just really made them look vintage and cool. And those items are so collectible right now. See right here, look how cool it is. Yeah, it's TLC, it needs fixed up but it had some really cool stuff on it. Checking mugs, making sure they're not um, something special because Starbucks can do really well. Um, of course, the Yeti mugs can do really well. Um, I pulled I, a Yeti out of here the other day and I took the lid off and I'm using the lid with one of my cups. It was brand new, but it had advertising on the actual cup. So I didn't keep the cup. Uh, it's actually sitting in my garage. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I might check with my husband because he may not care what the advertisement is on it, but I just wanted the lid with the magnet because, you know, those magnets, they, they get lost, you know, and I might lose my magnet. So I kept that. All right, let's keep digging here. I don't think I've shown you the other really cool, um, egg. Somebody else bought that. Okay, was this an epic miss? Um, me and one of the other resellers that were there were talking about these dolls. He had one in his cart and he handed it to me and he's like, what do you think? Do you want it? And I'm like, I don't know. I saw two more over here and I thought about getting them, but I did not get them. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should have got these three dolls. They do appear to be handmade. So probably one of a kind. Somebody's got put their unique spin on it. It may be a pattern, but... There's three of them. I'm going to show it to you here shortly. Let me know if I should have grabbed them because sometimes 
I throw things back that I think I maybe should have picked up. Here's one of them. Here's another one. Again, there were three of them, and I think I line them all up here in the near future for the video. I'm like, I'm going to put these all together and show everyone, and everybody can be like, you should have got them. I want them, and I left them in the bins. So digging, digging, digging. What do you guys think? Lots of stuff, right? The bins were loaded with lots of smalls, but typically I grab way, way more smalls. Okay, there's my whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Lowercase, all one word. And you can see here, here's some of the eggs. Um, there's that video that I did talking about the eggs. But look, bunches and bunches of little um, uh, LOL dolls. Okay, here they are. Aren't they cute? Here's the other one. I sold that one on whatnot. Oh my goodness, these eggs were incredible, incredible, incredible. So it was nice to be able to bring like a really cool vintage component over to whatnot. I like doing that. I like to bring things over there that you guys aren't going to find everywhere. And I can sell them cheaper on whatnot. You guys are going to pick them up cheaper than you would if I listed them high on eBay. Because when I list on eBay, I list high. When I sell on whatnot, I start the items low. So again, another thing to think about if you're going to sell on whatnot, you need to start your items low. Um, so that people bid on them. You don't have to go super low. Okay, Mike Jamie one bought that Handy Manny set from me. Thank you so much for your support. She is a viewer of the channel. I did get permission from her to share her eBay store. And um, so definitely go show her some love and follow her eBay store. I did pick this up. I haven't done anything with it. It's super heavy. Um, it said Ohio Ball on it. My husband felt like it was like from the ball jars, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it's like there was some fancy ball and they put those on the tables and they're a paperweight. I just thought it was cool. It was kind of heavy. It was maybe a bad buy. Let me know any feedback you guys have on that down in the comments. So I haven't listed it. I haven't done anything with it. I don't know if somebody could maybe get that off the surface and just have a really cool like paperweight that's red that looks like a big old gemstone. Um, here's more of the Handy Manny items. I found, I think it was a four-piece set. You can uh, rewind if you want to see that. More Lego dinosaur body parts, laugh out loud items. Here is the vintage Christmas item. I thought I showed it again. So I missed it the first time around and I went back and found it. So um, maybe it was a throwback. I didn't get it the first time, but I think this was like the throwback area. You guys, if you miss the throwback items, what you need to do is when it's kind of slow and they're not bringing out new bins, go check the sides because people in between bins, they throw back their items. <laughs> and I find stuff in the throwbacks all the time. I just did a Goodwill bins video that is titled something about throwbacks because I found some really cool stuff. So check out that Goodwill bins video. Here's another item that I picked up and sold on what on whatnot. Macpack reselling uh, purchased that from me. So thank you for your purchase. She is on YouTube. She is going to sell on whatnot in the future. So uh, definitely check her out. And she also has an eBay store. So she is a reseller. And she works full time. So it is her side hustle. So definitely go show her some love. All right. Should I have grabbed some of these little Christmas tags? What do you guys think? I did not grab them. I don't think they were vintage, but they may have been retired. This tape, oh my goodness, yes, I threw that in my cart. Everybody needs tape, right? Let me know down in the comments if you guys buy things for personal use. Um, do you throw them in your cart? Do you buy them? Go follow Dad Planet. Subscribe to his channel. He's incredible. Um, again, he's doing those giveaway boxes. I know one of them he said has a Nintendo Switch in it. So go sub up Dad Planet and thanks for watching.